Hi and what's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about Facebook's cryptocurrency called Libra. Let's roll it! On the 18th of June, Facebook announced the debut of a digital currency called Libra. Here's some background on how this initiative works. Libra is designed to be easy enough for anyone to use, but it's going to be complicated so I will break it down nice and simple for you. Why is there a need for Libra? Currently, businesses and consumers have big problems moving money. The problems are like high transactional fees and accountability. Let me explain a little bit. When you want to move, for example, $100,000 from a country to another country, bank charges could go up to $5,000. How the transaction fees got so high is through like administrative charges and exchange rates. Just these two alone will wipe out a lot, a lot of your money. This is one of the way the banks build buildings. The other issue we have is also accountability. Remember in the 08-09 days where the stock market crashed, the government just need to click one button and trillions of dollars was printed. Another example would be in Venezuela. Venezuela, what are they famous for? You know, Miss Universe? Venezuela now is having a crisis. Just Google Venezuela now and you see all the problems coming out. But let me just cut the story short. Venezuela is having very, very extremely high inflation because the government just keep printing money. A cucumber now is the same price as a house over 10 years ago. That is madness inflation. So now we come to Bitcoin. Bitcoin aims to solve a lot of problems, but Bitcoin also has its issues. For example, Bitcoin is slow. Bitcoin transacts at 7 transactions per second, while the current credit card systems are transacting at thousands of transactions per second. Imagine the whole world switches to Bitcoin. Your transactions are going to take days to go through. Bitcoin also has high transaction fees. Blockchain needs plenty of computers. And how do we reward these people who are running the computers? There's this thing called mining and that is where transaction fees come in. The final issue with Bitcoin and in my humble opinion, is the biggest problem of Bitcoin is that it's not backed by any assets at all. Currencies like the USD before the 1960s were backed by gold. So every dollar is like gold. If you are looking at the Singapore currency, why is it so stable? It's because the Singapore currency is backed by multiple currencies and different assets. The same for British pounds also. Most of the currencies out there are backed by certain assets or backed by the faith of the government. Bitcoin is backed by nothing, it's just backed by the faith of people and that caused very high fluctuations in terms of the value of Bitcoin and that is very very bad for businesses. Libra aims to solve all of that. Libra is like cash but digital cash. With Libra, you could pay or receive digital cash with anybody who accepts Libra all over the world. Since it's almost free to move Libra from one account to another account, you do not need to pay high credit card fees that could add up up to 4% of the total. You'll also be able to send money to friends or businesses just like a message. Anytime you want to cash out Libra, you just need to go to a local store and cash it out. How does Libra technically work? Libra is coded to have a stable price, be secured, and not controlled by Facebook. Libra is run by a non-profit organization that is called Libra Association and is located in Switzerland. This association includes big names like Mastercard, Visa, Spotify, Live, and the list goes on up to 28 people. By the time Libra launched, they are hoping this list goes up to 100 people. This council works together to manage, to regulate, and to expand the network. Libra will be a stable currency unlike Bitcoin because it will be made up of the world's most stable currency like the USD, the British Pound, the Yen and the Euros. The idea is if one of the currency goes up massively in value or goes down massively in value, Libra's price will be still stable. That way, shops will accept Libra without worrying for the fluctuation in price the next day. All people do not need to worry for another 1MDB scandal that may happen. Hmm. Big swing in prices is one of the reasons why Bitcoin hasn't grown popular in terms of payment methods. If Libra succeeds, the real win is in the 1.7 billion people in poverty who do not have a bank account. These people are exploited by international money senders who charge steep prices who suck away $50 billion each year. People in poverty also face a lot of crimes. With Libra, if they are raw, nothing happens with them because the value is stored digitally. I hope this video helped you understand Libra a lot better. If you have any questions, just leave your comment down on the comment section below and I'll try to answer every single one of them. I enjoy making such videos, so remember to subscribe to my channel and on the notification button so you do not miss a single video that I do. Again, thank you so much for watching and i see you to the next video. Goodbye!